Disclaimer, this video is intended for people over 13 only, so if you're under 13 years old, don't watch this video. Hey guys, it's Zeta Magnus 101 here. This is going to be my last video of the year, and most likely my last one for a while until the stupid cop -a law something's done until something's done about that. YouTube is gonna die. Anyway, this since this is my last video of the year, what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be my DVD collection video tribute on Digiview Entertainment, which brought us public domain cartoons until they pretty much went bankrupt. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with the Cartoon Craze series, this is All Stars Volume 2. It has stuff like Daffy the Commando, that was one of the World War II cartoons. All these are just ra all these DVDs from Digiview are just a random assortment of cartoons. And there's the disc inside. Here is our funniest friends, which should be mostly Looney Tunes on this one. So there's the front of the case with Bugs and Daffy. Then there's the back of the case and the disc itself. This case is all kinds of messed up, but here is Greatest Fighting Superheroes. Notice that Heroes is misspelled. This features cartoons from Mighty Mouse to Popeye to the Fleischer Superman. So this is the back of the case, front of the case. I'm sure these guys got in trouble with DC or something. I don't know. Maybe not. And there's the disc inside. Here's the Three Stooges and Friends, Safari So Good. Over an hour. These are mostly a collection of three studious cartoons. This is the back of the case. It's the front. And there's the disc inside. After you see being a bunch of knuckleheads. Continuing on with some movies actually. This is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This is the front of the case right here. There's the back of the case. And there's the disc inside. Keep sliding out! Here's Around the World in 80 Days with a bunch of animals in it because... Why not? This is the front of the case. And there's the back of the case. And there's the disc itself. Yeah, fairies. Here's the Odyssey. Kind of reminds me of. The font reminds you of Hercules in a way. There's the front of the case. There's the back of the case. And there's the disc. Here is David Copperfield. This is a more recent release from Digibio. This is when they were releasing stuff like. I don't know. What was that show? Uh, Roswell Conspiracies. They were releasing that on DVD at this time. So, this is the only live action movie I have from them. Here's the front of the case. There's the back of the case. And never mind, this is the older logo. And there's the disc. The boy is a biter! Keeping up with cartoons, here's Toon Factory, which has two hours of cartoons. This is on Felix. Yeah, this is mostly Felix cartoons. This is a more modern release. In a sense, because that was the more recent logo. So this is the back of the case. And there's the front of the case. And there's the disc. Here is Casper and Friends. This is mostly Casper cartoons. 
And there's some Popeye and Gumby on here. There's the front of the case. And there's the back of the case. And I don't really think there is some Popeye on here. I can't remember. And there's the disc itself. This one I lost the case for, but I had to put it in something. So it's a makeshift case I made for my Oliver Twist DVD. So, because it's a makeshift case, there's nothing really interesting about it. That's front, back, nothing, and... Hold on. There's the actual disc. And this is also one of the more recent releases for when they were still a thing. I did show this off before in another video. That this is the rarest DVD I <laughs> DVD. <laughs> this is the rarest DVD I own, and it's Animal Farm. And this is the one that got Digiview in trouble actually, because they thought that this was public domain. But this actually had a copyright on it. Just because it was shown on a projector doesn't mean that it's public domain. Yeah, there was a huge big lawsuit over this movie, and Digiview lost the case. This is very mature. I mean, there's blood in it, animals die. It's serious. And I'm also macerating some strawberries in it. So yeah. A nice counterpoint would be something a little This is there. the front of the case. And the back. And, and there's the disc itself. As an added bonus, it's a Christmas haul also. For Christmas, one of the gifts I got was a Nintendo Switch Lite. And it's the special Sword and Shield edition. With the legendary Pokemon on it. Pretty cool. And the first game I ever got for this Switch, Smash Brothers. For those of you who are being mean to Kirby, leave him alone. He's a good boy. So yeah, that was my DVD collection Digiview tribute slash Christmas haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because this is my last video of the year, and my last one for a very long time, until something is done about the Kappa Law on YouTube. It really shouldn't pass. I mean, it's... It's stupid. The law is stupid. It violates the First and the Eighth Amendments. And I would know, because I did my research. I'm a smartass. So, those are two major reasons that the law should not pass on YouTube and should not be enforced on the site. Just saying. Also, this video and this channel are going to have to be set for kids, so you won't be able to comment, you won't be able to get notifications. I may lose views, but hey, I don't care. It's not like I'm going to be uploading anything anyway. So... Yeah. So until something is done about the cop a lot, I'm not going to upload anything to YouTube anymore. Unless something happens and the law is taken, is not enforced on YouTube. Until something happens, I'm not going to upload anything. And the channel will have to be set for kids, so. Yeah. Be sure to like and subscribe at least. I would say hit the notification bell, but again, no notifications because...